the channel and in today's video we are heading on into the little country of Gibraltar. Yes, Gibraltar, that little piece of Britain is located pretty much on the southernmost tip of Europe. Yes, a funny little rock that sticks out and it's quite noticeable from quite a distance and it's only got 30,000 or so inhabitants. That's human. We don't know how many apes there are, but they've got the awesome Barbary ape, the only place in Europe where actually monkeys naturally exist. So how cool is that? And if that's not enough to bring you to Gibraltar, well, we'll hopefully show you some other reasons today why to come visit this unique little country down here in Southern Europe. Obviously, you need passports to get in. But they don't always check them. Oh, he's taking off. What is it doing? Why are we still here? It's flying down it. I know, but it's green. Pretty... Oh. So one of the first things you'll notice after you cross the border is the runway. Yes, this is Gibraltar Airport and the runway is just ahead of us and we are stopped now because there's a plane coming in. You literally have to cross the runway to get to the rock, to get to the main part of Gibraltar. And it's one of the most dangerous and one of the most difficult runways to land on in the world. Yes, I think you have to lane. be like a, a special pilot or you have to do a special thing to be able to land here because of its, a bit like Nick says, because of its length, it's very short. So you kind of imagine, yeah, landing in Gibraltar and having to put the brakes on a lot quicker so you don't plop off the other end of the sea. Yeah, because <laughs> you've got the winds as well coming that chase around the rock sort of thing, so it makes it very tricky. But anyway, that's quite unique, isn't it? You actually have to actually cross the runway or have to wait for the plane to land before you can get into Jib. Over 10,000 people commute to Gibraltar every day from the Spanish border town or further afield to get to work. It's crazy. Probably not so many people today because it's Sunday. So this is actually quiet for Gibraltar, even though it is still quite busy. Probably the best time to visit or drive in to Gibraltar is on the weekend when there's less commuters because the border queue can be absolutely horrendous. You can be waiting hours sometimes, getting in and out in rush hour time. So Gibraltar is extremely built up. It's only got a little bit of kind of land around the rock, if you like, to actually build on. And then obviously up the rock is like a protected area and it's a very steep rock. Pretty much everywhere that's built on is reclaimed land. So hundreds of years ago, Gibraltar was literally just this rock sticking up. And it was only joined to the mainland by a very narrow strip of land. Yeah. Whereas now, obviously, there's a huge runway which we've just crossed. So guys, we are just having a quick coffee before we take you on a tour of Gibraltar. So the main reason people come to Gibraltar is for the incredible rock and to visit the apes up there. Yes, well, they're actually Mackays. Um, yeah, but a type of type of monkey, the Barbary 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 Mackays. Yeah, there's hundreds up there, and it, as we said before, it's the only place in Europe where they exist in the wild. So that's the main reason to go up the rock. But there's so many others. Firstly, the views from up there are incredible down either coast and over the whole of Gibraltar. Then you've got all the history. You've got the great siege tunnels which were constructed in the eight, late 18th century. They were later extended into World War II tunnels. You've got over 200 caves there. Yeah, so there's basically loads of history up there and loads to do and see. Now, we're not actually gonna go up there today because it's quite warm, a bit too warm to leave the dogs in the car. And we don't think we can really take the dogs up there because of the monkeys, because of the, the macaques. Yeah, it's not advisable to take dogs if your dogs aren't 
monkey friendly <laughs> <laughs> which probably not many of them are but luckily for you guys we did go up the rock last year and took a bit of footage so you can check it out in this little montage Yeah, so there's several ways to get up the rock. Um, we did the Mediterranean steps, the Med steps, which is absolutely fantastic. Phenomenal views all the way up and um, a brilliant workout as well. They're quite steep, but it's totally safe and well worth the effort. Mm. There are easier ways to get up there. Yeah. And the most popular is the cable car. Couldn't be easier. You can get straight to the top, straight back down. And then also, they have taxi tours. Yeah, like group taxis, and I think you can kind of pick one up from the border, actually, as you cross into Jib. And then you can also do the walking route and follow the sort of taxi route, but it means you can go off on diversions like to that incredible bridge that we went to. Yeah, so there's lots of ways to get up there, lots of ways to see it, and it's 100%, you have to do it if you come to Gibraltar. I mean, it's advisable to pick a nicer day because obviously it can get windy and whatnot up there. But yeah, it, it's pretty good, isn't it? It's Yeah, it's, I think it's better than it actually looks from the ground because from different angles, it doesn't look so dramatic and impressive. But once you're up there, the views are really, really good. Really, really good. And those apes are just, those Mackays. You can just, just watch them all day yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, they're brilliant. The Mackays are definitely the highlight but be careful they can be a little bit cheeky <laughs> but anyway apart from the rock itself Gibraltar is made up of three parts basically you have the western side which is where the main population live and where there's everything Basically, the main commercial area of Gibraltar is made up of two main streets. These lead on to the famous Casemate Square, which used to be Moroccan barracks. This now has loads of shops, restaurants and bars. Aside from that, you've got a couple of nice marinas, the newest one being Ocean Village, which houses two casinos, one land base and one actually a floating ship. Again, there's loads of restaurants and bars there, and a lot of them are built on water. It's really built up on this western side, but there's still a lot of history and a lot of character hidden away with the old walls and everything. So it's definitely worth a walk around for the afternoon. Aside from the sort of busy western side of Gibraltar where everything is, you've also then got the upper rock. And as you climb the upper rock, you've got some really nice houses up there, brilliant views over the beautiful bay of Gibraltar. And then you go even higher, which is into the nature reserve, where of course all of the Mackays are and the tunnels and all that history and all that really good stuff. And then kind of like the third part, on the opposite side to the busy built up section, on the eastern side, you have... So this is Coletta Bay, which is the eastern side of the rock. And it's quite different to the other sides. You've just got a small, small row of colourful houses with the little bit of land there is, and then this beautiful bay. It feels really wild compared to that side, which is all built up and businesses and all that, really hectic. You don't, you don't really notice the rock from yeah. that side, do you? And obviously, sort of a hill, a mound. Yeah, and then this side, you can just see how dramatic it is. Just these sheer cliffs, like dropping into the ocean, and you properly appreciate its height at 426 metres, just coming out the ocean. It's quite impressive, really. Yeah, it's quite impressive. And the views from up there are even better. It's just a much more relaxed vibe here. You just kind of forget that all that's going on over the other side of the rock and feel like you could just be somewhere completely different. 
as usual, Charlie is scared of bridges or board boardwalks. No matter how far we've gone, where we've gone, he's still scared, isn't he? Come on, little one. Come on, don't be scared. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, Charlie. Go, go, go. Oh, it's a vibration. It is vibrating a bit, isn't it? Bless him. Come on. Yeah, I feel like I'm on holiday. Like it's about 20 degrees or something. It's so warm today. Beautiful blue sky day. I've got my flip flops on. I've taken my top off. Not all of it, literally, obviously. Anyways, yeah, these lovely little colorful buildings, like the seaside. It feels like we're at the seaside, doesn't it? Totally, it's a proper little holiday, relaxed, chilled out vibe. <laughs> this is just like a beautiful, you've got the Coletta Hotel, sat on the rocks there, nice little calm bay. It's so nice, isn't it? It's beautiful. So now we are, well, right at the moment, we're stopped at the traffic lights, but we are just about to drive all the way around the rock. Now, a few years ago, you couldn't do that. You could only drive so far and then you had to stop and go back the other way. But now they've um, dug out a tunnel so you can drive all the way round, which is pretty cool. So this brings you out the far end of the rock where all you can see is across to Africa and Europa Point. So this is the most southern tip of Gibraltar with on a good day with okay views over to Morocco but not today because it's really really hazy so you can only just make out um, Africa the shape of the mountains but yeah it's quite it's quite nice you've got a nice little lighthouse here and again a completely different view of the rock yeah it's quite cool that you can drive all the way around the rock now because you get completely different views from here it looks like a mountain from Coletta Bay where we just were it's like a sheer rock face yeah. and the main sort of area where everything is it's just like a big hill yeah and it looks a lot greener and the weather's side. different you come around the corner through that tunnel it's actually quite cold here isn't it compared yeah. to Coletta Bay because it's quite a lot more windier and it's crazy here actually we haven't got footage of it now but there is a thing called a Levanta the cloud comes from the east and it hits the rock and forms like a proper cloud yeah. over sort of the main area and, and apparently if the rock was just a few meters lower that cloud would rise over the top instead of hitting the top of the rock and causing this kind of levanta cloud and it's funny yeah because they said if they drilled a hole through it or had a little tunnel then it would you'd stop the levanta whether that's just a myth or a legend or a joke or whatever the levanta can ruin a nice sunny day because all of a sudden the rock just gibraltar would be completely covered in cloud quite cold mm. and um very gray and you would just go over the border a little bit into spain and it'll be a lovely blue sky day so it has its own weather system quite a unique place if you're in the area come visit it but we have now got to go to morrison's pick up some supplies So another reason we came into Gibraltar today was for Morrison's. Yes, it's just a supermarket, but when you live in Spain, um, you don't get to go to English supermarkets that much. So here we are. We're going to pick up some supplies to take to Portugal with us. Yes, we definitely need to stock up on Marmite because we are running low and I haven't had any crumpets for so long. <laughs> Let's go. How long has it been since we've had hot cross buns? It's got to be years and years. Yeah, there they are, there they are. Come here, come here. 
Jaboa, Charlie. We're in Jaboa. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Oh, we must have something in all this shopping for my babies. Have we? <laughs> the boys always have to get a treat when we come back to the van, no matter where we've been, how long we've been, whether we've been two minutes or two hours, they always have to have a little treat for being good boys and good waiting. Don't worry, Dizzy's gonna get one. Where is he? There we go, Diz. Yeah, you're good hey. boys, aren't you? There we go. Good dogs. Now good days. We have to be careful with Charlie because we have been told by a friend that we hadn't seen for quite some time that Charlie looked like he'd put on quite a bit of weight. So we're like, hmm, I'll see. What do you guys think? So we didn't film in Morrison's really because after all, it's just a supermarket. And as a lot of you guys are from Britain, you've probably seen Morrison's all over the place. But we love it. As we live in Spain, it's nice to come in and get some things you just can't get in Spain. The Spanish supermarkets are great, but they don't have everything. Yeah, there's lots of kind of like um, things like, I mean, we can't get vegan mayonnaise in Spain. We can make it ourselves, but obviously it is nice to pick up something, some things like this every now and again when you get chance. Of course, when we come to the UK, Later on this year, we're all we're going to be in heaven, aren't we? Because we can yeah. get whatever we want when, when we want it. <laughs> Don't forget this. Yeast at Marmite. Couldn't come here without topping up on some Marmite or yeast extract. Baked beans. Baked beans. British classic. So as Gibraltar is a tax haven, there's certain things that are quite cheap here. Things that are highly taxed normally. One of them being alcohol. Now, as we live in Spain, beer and wine is really reasonably priced. But in Morrison's, all your spirits are ridiculously cheap. We didn't get any, by the way. We've been very good and we didn't get any vodka or whiskey or anything like that, did we? I'll be going back in off camera. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're stocked up on food. It's time to go and fill up the van with some diesel. Cheap diesel time! That is still one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, petrol price in Europe. Or not in Europe now, because Brexit's happened. But yeah, 95.9 .9 pence a litre of diesel. Happy days. So that was the quick tour of this unique little rock of a country here in Gibraltar. We're heading back over the runway now, past the airport and getting our butts back into Spain. So we're very happy as it's the weekend, there's no queue here. This can be like six lanes of traffic and can take you hours to get out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog showing the unique little Britain abroad. I will see you in the next video. I proper feel like I'm on holiday. It's like, I don't know, it must be close to 20 degrees. It's so warm today. I've got my flip flops on. I'm kind of half, you know, oops. Oh, Dizzy's doing a poo, sorry. So thanks for joining us <laughs> in another fun field travel fun field so thanks for joining us for another fun field travel vlog fun field i'm sure you said field fun again field field fun field, field. anyway yes thanks for joining us in another travel vlog 